How well do you know your international cue? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Happy Labor Day, the day devoted to all the expectant mothers out there. That is what Labor Day is about, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Okay, and you know what expectant mothers love? What? Barbecue. Mm -hmm. Now we've had a an American barbecue taste test on this show before, but it's time to stop thinking locally and start acting globally. Yes. It's time for Where in the World Does This International Barbecue Come From? Okay, we are going to be experiencing five, count them, five international barbecues. So oh, today I can smell it is a good day, great breakfast of champions. And we have a world map right over here with cartographer Chase uh, gingerly pointing at it with a yeah. shirt that's a little bit too small, but it has a map on it, so that makes it okay. Um, we are gonna be tasting each barbecue and then choosing which- <laughs> yeah. Good job, Chase. Which of the 11 countries we think this barbecue originated in. Yes. And then Stevie is gonna reveal um, however far we are is how far he's gonna measure in centimeters and then give us a score uh, corresponding to that. So the goal is to have the smallest score, like, yeah. golf, like golf, at the end of this thing. Got it. Um, there's also gonna be a round where we can throw four darts at once in order to mix it up and have a greater chance of getting it right when we're guessing. Yes. Let's start taking. Wow, it's a, it's a grill. Oh, and oh it's, it's ribs. It really oh, they go. smell good. This looks good. Oh, I, mean, I was gonna go for that one. I was, but get, you know what? I was getting this one there, for you. There's, there's a lot of ribs that go around. Mm. That's fine. It looks like a normal rib. It's a pork rib. That's a good rib. But it's really about the sauce, right? The clues come from the sauce. I'm gonna put mine over here on a on a paper towel so I can lick my finger and think about it. Looking at the map here. If somebody served these at the house, the house, I wouldn't be house. like, "Oh, what country did you get like, these oh, from?" These are so exotic. Yeah, I would just be like, "That's oh, a good sauce." The sauce has got little, you know what? It's got a little something in it though. It's got a little something from another country, huh? Now you're taller, so um, you get to go first. Oh, once again, it's an advantage. <laughs> Throw your dart at the country that you think that this rib originated. Now, I will clarify, you talked about the uh, the four dart round. That can happen in any round, and it's four darts, fart for short. You just call fart, and right. you can do it at any time. It is not a fart joke. It's just the only way that you can say four darts in a catchy way. Yeah, it's the most logical way. I'm not gonna fart in this round. I'm, I don't wanna fart too early. Right. Could you move out of the way a little bit? I would love to. These are not Canadian, Mexican, or Brazilian. But I also feel like there is some sort of African spice here. So I, I wanted to say it was it was Thailand, because it was just kind of a sweet Asian thing going. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to aim for the Indian Ocean, because I feel like that's a safe bet. So I'm not making a real guess. I'm not committing. I'm just adding, I'm going for the Indian Ocean. Oh, and I hit the... Southern Ocean. That's not one of the oceans. No. <laughs> Southern Ocean is not an ocean. I think it might be. Isn't it the Southern Ocean? So, that's um, an ocean. I know there's all types of Brazilian meat houses, and they'll, they'll come around to your table with meat yep. at these Brazilian meat houses. Yep. Uh -huh. I love it. Churrascaras. Whatever. I don't believe. Okay, so you went for Brazil. And I hit the West Ocean. I feel like Brazil would have been beef, but I, I don't know, but you could be right. Let's let's find out. Okay, guys, you just nibbled on some Sikrong Muyang, which are grilled pork spare ribs marinated in a sauce comprised of garlic, ginger, soy sauce, fish sauce, sugar, mm. salt, and pepper, and then grilled from the country of Thailand. Thailand. It's, it wasn't as sweet as you thought Thailand would be, but you're still way closer than me. And so. that would have been great with the Indian Ocean. Man, you are taking the big lead here. All right, Rhett, you had 25, and Link, you were at 65. Oh, wow. <laughs> mm. Early lead for the Rhett. I'm gonna try to win, but I mean, everybody who's eating this is a winner. You gonna eat it with your hands? Hmm. This is, oh, this is goat. Yeah, it's goat or sheep. It's got that like barnyard overtone, but then it tastes really good once you get past that. I think the reason that barnyards smell like barnyards is because barnyards smell like sheep. So where on earth are barnyards? <laughs> <laughs> Aim at a barnyard and see if you can Man, eat it. If this is Mongolia, that could be yak. It could be. 
Mongolia's the thing about a- Mongolia is it's up in there in that upper right hand corner. So if I'm wrong, mm-hmm. I'm not close to being right about anything else. And I already made that mistake with Brazil. I went lower left. But you know this is not Canadian, Mexican, or Brazilian. So I mean, I think you're safe on the right side of the map. But I'm not being deceitful here. I'm being a good friend. I really feel like this is Mongolia, and I'm not going to apologize Don't about apologize it to, to anybody. <laughs> well, Link, your aim is superb today. today. Uh huh. I just need you to back up. Feeling myself. What? I'm feeling myself, man. Um, so I think Mongolia is an excellent guess, but in an effort to mix gonna things up. You gonna try to up, outdart me? No, no, no. I think this could also be Cameroon. So you think this is a water buffalo type situation? No, I think they could have goat in Cameroon. Yeah, I think this is a goat. No, if it were Cameroon, it'd be a goat, but I think this is Mongolia. I think it's a yak. I'm going Cameroon. I think you might be right, but. <laughs> you trying to throw it through the board? Yeah. It's a hard throw. I'm low today. You're left and I'm low. All right. Okay, guys. You just ate barbacoa de borrego, translated to lamb barbecue, which is a whole lamb that is traditionally buried in the ground, covered in leaves and hot coals, mm. and found in Mexico. Mexico? <laughs> Dang, you got lucky again just getting closer for no good some reason. Some call it luck, some Man. call it skill. I didn't think it was yak. Where do you think they're going to get yak? You going to get yak in town? Yeah, this is Los Angeles. Yeah. Rhett, you had 41, and Link, you had 62. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm going to have to fart. <laughs> yeah, you, you are, man. Man, Link, you're, uh, you, you know, your aim's off, but your, I mean, your aim is on, but your choices are bad. Whoa. It's a big sausage. <laughs> Two wieners. That's not a wiener, that's a sausage, man. You didn't give us anything to eat with. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, not a lot of thought went into that. Just, uh, every, every guy grab his wiener. Oh, it smells like Christmas. Both ends smell the same. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, it's really got a strong uh, clove. spice. Clove. You're throwing first this time. Where do they put clove in their sausage? Aim for the North Pole. It does feel like something they do in Canada. Where do they love cloves? They love cloves in Turkey. I'm gonna fart. Ladies and gentlemen, he is going for the four dart throw at once, known colloquially as the fart. It is not a fart joke. It's just what it's called when you throw four darts. Now, how, what, we've never done this before. We have no idea what's gonna happen. I don't even know where I should aim. Where do you aim a fart? Aim everywhere. The fart should spread. You want it to spread as much as possible. You want your fart to spread throughout the world. I'm gonna throw the middle of the map and see what happens. Oh, <laughs> everything sort of zeroed in on Brazil. <laughs> wow, that didn't that was, really help you. <laughs> no, it's horrible. Very, very tight, tight spread. I'm not gonna use my fart yet because yours was so pathetic. This is my opportunity to gain some ground. True. Didn't taste like turkey, but it tasted like it was from turkey. <laughs> Clothes and hookahs. Oh, oh maybe hit Mongolia. <laughs> Hold on, but if it is Mongolia, you hit, you're in the country and we give you full credit if you're in the red. There, that'll be zero for this round. Okay, guys. The sausage you just put in your mouth is called barvors, which is made from a coarsely minced mixture of lamb and pork and seasoned with coriander seed, black pepper, nutmeg, cloves, and allspice, usually barbecued outdoors in South Africa. <laughs> oh, you're still closer. Yeah, my fart paid off. Your blind guessing is leading you to sanctuary. <laughs> what? All right, Chase. Link, you're at 37, and Rhett, you had 18. Okay. With four darts, you should have done better. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You should have done better. You're right. <laughs> mm. I mean, I'm sorry, Link. I'm not even trying. It's just happening. Just it's, it. it's luck. Ooh, we have a hen. That's a full half chicken. Just in the name of conservation, we should just split one. We'll save the other one for later. I mean, this is a piece of a, piece of a leg here. I, I want. You gotta get the skin. I, want, I gotta get some skin. That, that gives you info. Mm hmm. I know exactly what this is. You know exactly what this is? Mm hmm. All I know is that it's very good. This is tough, because I mean, it's like, I don't know how anything could be Canada. <laughs> Do they barbecue stuff how in Canada? How could anything be Canada, period? <laughs> no offense, I love Canada. But it's, I so don't nice. know it for its barbecue. They're so nice up there. Australia is in the corner. Yep. Corner. Who am I kidding? I just have to fart right at the middle of the board. Yep. I mean, it's... Everyone's clearing out back there. I thought... <laughs> they didn't I, do that when I was farting. I thought this was like a peri-peri, but I can't remember where peri-peri comes from. Hmm. Well, just fart at the board and see what happens. 
I got a decent spread, but the board needs to be farther away. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Can you move uh, oh. back a little bit? Now, oh. Link, you're 100% right. It's Perry Perry. Where's Perry Perry from? Africa, man. I be day. Well, I don't know if it's Cameroon or South is... Africa, but I'm going for Cameroon. Oh, that's close. All right, let us have it, Stevie. Okay, so you're kind of right because it is Piri Piri chicken. Piri Piri. But I say it's Piri Piri. From Portugal. Oh, Link, look at you, man! I, I won this round. Piri Piri. <laughs> Thought it was African. Wrong. Portuguese. All right, Rhett, you were 19 away, and Link, eight. Hey. Look at you. <laughs> you feeling yourself again? I'm feeling myself. <laughs> <laughs> and bring her in. Now Link. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's not our job. Oh, gosh. Oh, what? That's is a, that? That's a squid. That's a skate. That's a squid, man. You seen. <laughs> you, that's the tail of a, oh. of a squid, man. What is that? That's the flap part. And what is this? The face part? Oh, my goodness. Is that all from one? Mmm, smells good though. What part should you eat? The limbs. Oh, that's a spicy squid. Mmm. Whoa, that's super spicy. Whoa, it, it builds. Uh, the spice is like a, it's a black pepper spice. It's not like a, it's a spice spice. It's not like a pepper spice. Mm. I don't understand. But I feel like this is It's South a Korean. spiciness from spice, not from a pepper. I, I need, I need my, my space. Like a uh, black pepper. Th this has got to be a place where they've got access to squid, so Link, I'm going to tell you, it's not Mongolia. You've tried to do that twice, going South Korea. And I could miss the board. If I miss the board, I get the maximum score of 50. So hey, you, you, could, you could make a big comeback here. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm Thailand, huh? And here, here you go, Or as Link. my dad calls it, Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> Link, because you're down so far, and I'm a good friend, I'm gonna give you the super fart. That's a double fart. Oh, so this is like the walking farts where they just keep coming. <laughs> yeah, you get eight. You have to throw them all at once though. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, yeah, go for it, nine darts. <laughs> Chase, don't yeah. you wanna get a good look at this? Yeah, from over here. I mean, this is, this is crazy, man. I think this is probably Korean barbecue. <laughs> okay. But I have to like, Swaff. Oh, no, 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 you can, you can sidearm it. I'm just trying to get the whole board. Just let go at the right time. Don't let go. Oh, uh, wow. Look at that, guys. I hit every single fart on the board. Nine darts at once. You did, you did. All dangling on there. None of them close to what I was now, guessing. If it's South Korea, I still win this round. Well, let's just see what it was. <laughs> Okay, guys, that, that spice you were tasting comes from a sauce called gochujang sauce, which, which is a type of fermented red chili paste. And these are ojingo kui, uh, squid marinated in that sauce mm -hmm. and then uh, uh, grilled over charcoal or gas. It's from South Korea. <laughs> <laughs> I was guessing that, and all nine of my darts didn't come anywhere close. You had a double fart and a little extra fart, <laughs> and I still beat you. Oh. You lucky devil. All right, Rhett, you had 15, and Link, you had 17. Oh, I almost won the last round. <laughs> you did. So, Rhett, you won fair and square. Thank you. You get an amazing sandwich and more that is the International Barbecue Sandwich. All of these combined. That's gonna be tasty. It's gonna be awesome. Join us. Thank thanks, you. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Jackson, and this is a really big Buddha. It's time to speed in the wheel of mythicality. You can peery peery into our minds by getting yourself a copy of Brett Link's book of mythicality. Mythicality. Available for pre order at bookofmythicality.com. Bookofmythicality.com. Click through to Good Mythical More, where we are going to construct the ultimate international barbecue sandwich. Maybe the tallest in the world. BYMB, be your mythical best. Today we ask you to be your mythical best with this challenge. Make a house of cans. Collect all the old cans of food you can, then donate them to a local shelter, but first, stack them high like a house of cards. Take a photo and post it with hashtag BYMB. Thanks for clicking subscribe. Click on the left to watch our show after the show, Good Mythical More. Click the video on the right to watch another episode of Good Mythical Morning. And be sure to check out our other channel, This Is Mythical, by clicking the video on the bottom. Thanks for being your mythical best.